Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a mini album project with you. This mini album was created using one of the pre-made Frank Garcia memory hardware chipboard albums. This is the tall version. And the mini album on this one measures, let's see, and it'll say it on the box, but I couldn't find it. It's like five and a half by seven and a half. And the spine is two inches. Again, it's a pre-made book. So the collection that I used for this is from Photoplay. It's one of their new ones. It's called Moments in Time by Michelle Coleman. And it's really pretty. It's very shabby chic. It's got some great imagery. This is the 6x6 paper pad, but I did use a 12x12 collection kit for this project. Um, and the sticker sheet does come with it inside the collection kit. And I also use the ephemera die cuts. So that's kind of fun. So what I did on the front cover, first of all, to prepare this book, I went ahead, because they all come in at one color and they're a craft. So I used some antique white, just craft paint, and just went around the edges, just about a half an inch all the way around the edges, and just painted the outside edges of all the pages, as well as the front and back cover and the spine before I added my design papers. I inked around all the edges with a uh, walnut stain. <laughs> on the front here, I die cut this really pretty doily, and this is one of my favorites. It's the Bow Bunny Heart Doily Die. It's called Ornate Heart Die from Bow Bunny. It's one of my favorites. Um, so I used that, and I used some uh, cream colored cardstock and layered that here. And this is some of the ephemera. This is a 3x4 journal card that I fussy cut from the collection. Another piece of ephemera, and this is a sticker from a sticker sheet, these cute suitcases, and I just put them on a scrap piece of the ivory cardstock and fussy cut around it. These are some flowers from. Wild Orchid Crafts, and again, another sticker from the sticker sheet that I put on some uh, foam tape and just popped it up right here. And this ribbon is from May Arts. It's just really pretty. I think it's called Robin's Egg Blue, but it's one of my favorite. It's the silk. It's one and a quarter inches wide. And then here is the pretty floral print on the back. So what I did to make this a little more interactive is I added some flaps and some pockets to the pages just to give a little more interest. So over here, I created a diagonal pocket. Again, another piece of ephemera, and then I had a little scrap piece of the ivory, and I just flag the uh, fishtail the ends right here and then um, again I added some design paper here and then I made a cute little um, booklet with some of the leftover ivory cardstock this is a piece of the ephemera and then I have a, a strip of the border sticker right here and this is some of the design paper so you can put a couple of photos here and then on the first page, again, I added another one. I added a flap, and I added the flaps after I painted the edges. I added the flaps first, and then I put my designed paper on top just to cover up the seam so you wouldn't see the, the hinge that I created. A piece of the border sticker down here, and this is one of the uh, 3 by 4 cut aparts. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. So you could put a picture here and a photo here if you wanted. So you flip it over, and then over this, this is just purely decorative. This is Love You Always. It's another 3 by 4 ephemera card. So on every other page, on the one page, I did a side flap, and on the next page, I did a pocket. So these pockets are going to measure, because the pages are 5 inches, 5 by 7. So again, the pockets are going to be 5 by 3 inches. And then I added a cute little piece of ephemera right here. I added some more design paper here that matched over here. And then this is one of the um, ephemera cards. And then this is a cute little sticker, and I just kind of fussy cut it apart so I could make it fit on that little banner. It says these little moments. You could put two little 3 by 4 photos right there and another piece of design paper on the back. So then over on this page, um, I added another border sticker. This is some of the cute... Um, letter print and then I made a little I die cut a little envelope my sister had this really cute envelope die in her stash I was over at her house and I'm like oh this is really cute where'd you get this envelope she goes uh you gave it to me I said oh wow who knew uh, so I'm not sure where it came from but it's really really cute <laughs> so I made a little envelope here with the, some of the design paper and then um again I went ahead and just cut a little piece to go inside so you could put a little journal spot right there maybe a little photo on there so that just goes there and then over here, again, I added another little flap right here, so you could use a 3 by 4 photo. And then I made this a little belly band, another piece of ephemera, and I made another little photo mat here. That's going to close like that. And then on the next page, I used one of the ephemera cards and just glued it down on the side and the bottom and made another text spot 
with another little photo mat to put some of the scraps of paper. And then over here again, I used a, made a pocket here on this one with another cute little three by four card. This was a sticker from the sticker sheet. And then you flip it over again, another sticker that I put on some ivory cardstock and just fussy, fussy cut around it. Again, another piece of ephemera, it's a cute little tag. And then this is another piece of ephemera that I put on some cardstock and just cut around it. And I added, just so it would make it stand out from the print a little bit more. And then over here, again, I have another cute little butterfly that I put on some cardstock and cut around it. Another cute little ephemera card right here. Um, again, these were the three by four cut aparts. Put a photo here as well. And over here, I took this cute little sticker and put it on some card so I fussy cut around it and then put it on this cute little tuck spot right here. And then this is one of the um, pieces of ephemera and I just added it to this little card as well. And love the little dress forms. Isn't it cute? Just darling paper. Again, another cute little pocket here, a cute little bird and I used a little scallop circle punch and added that on top of there and here's another ephemera card. Love this one. I really I really kind of wanted to use this one on the front cover and I couldn't decide but it's so cute. And then on the last page um, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet. I put on some cardstock and fussy cut around it and just popped it up here. It's his family and then this is one of the ephemera frames in the ephemera pack and I added um, it right here. I did leave it open so you could slide the photo if you wanted or you could just mount the photo on here and this is like three and five eighths by three and five eighths. And then that is the back. So that's my project that I created using the photo play moments in time collection. And I used the 12 by 12 paper pad and um, Laura from the button farm club is going to put together like a kit. So if you were interested in making this project, if you can go right over there to her shop and she will have a link to all the items for the, she'll put it together in like a little collection kit here that you could, so you could make the, um, make this project if you're interested. And there will be a cut guide, um, so you know the sizes that these are and the, for the pocket and that sort of thing. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.